In this video, I'm going to share good condo buildings which are close to the subway station in the city of Toronto. The buildings I've handpicked might not have direct access to the subway station, but they are within the close proximity of about 5 to 10 minutes of walk from the station. So whether you're a first time home buyer or an investor, this video is the ultimate guide for good condo buildings which have access to the subway line in the city. So before we jump in, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any of my latest content. And if you have any questions about real estate, please feel free to book a call with me as per your convenient time by clicking on the Calendly link mentioned in the description below. Now let's get right into it. So just to give you an overview, here's this map of the Toronto subway system. And you can see Toronto has two major line. One is line one, which is Yangon University, which runs from north to south. And the other one is line two, which is Broad Danforth line, which runs from east to west. Uh, and just to let you know, you won't find many condo buildings alongside of line two, because line two primarily passes through more of uh, single family residential areas. I'm not saying that you won't find any condo buildings. You will find condo buildings on line two as well, but not as much as opposed to line one. So I'm going to primarily focus on line one today, uh, and I'm going to highlight good condo buildings along line one in three Three different neighborhoods uh, first starting in downtown core around union station and the second one will be in midtown toronto that is young and glinton area and the third neighborhood i'm going to focus on is shepherd and young area so let's get started so our first stop is going to be at union station union station is right over here is basically the main transportation hub in the city of toronto and the first uh, building we're going towards is 25 lower simco uh, it's basically about 30 minutes walk from union station and uh, 25 lower simco has uh, access to a path as well so you can go through and through through the path uh, during especially during the winter days uh, you don't have to step out and worry about the coal you can use, basically use the path and reach the union station the 25 lower simco is 16 story building which is not too tall which is not a super high rise building which is nice uh, the developer is conservatory group uh, developer and uh, they have got decent experience of building in the city uh, the age of the building is about eight years the maintenance fee is about 86 dollars per square foot which is not too bad the condos in the building are selling for about $1,100 per square foot and you can see they've got decent amenities going on they've got a swimming pool a basketball court which also switches into a badminton court uh, the in my opinion, the main selling point of this building is its location. It's right located right under the CN Tower. If you look at the map, it's located right over here. And it's just next to the Roundhouse Park, which is not too bad. Uh, Scotiabank Arena is about like five minutes walk from here. Uh, Rogers Centre is also about like five to seven minutes walk from here. And if you walk south from this building for about five to seven minutes, you will reach Harbour Front, which is also nice. And Financial District is also not too far from here. It's about like 10 to 15 minutes walk from this building. And, uh, and I'll quickly show you on the street view how the building looks like from outside so this is how the building looks like from the outside and let me show you the street view so if you go south on this Simcoe Street, if you go past Gardner, uh, you'll reach Harbour Front, which is just about like five minutes walk from this building. And the bar Roundhouse Park is right across the building. You can see over here, this is the park. So the views looking out west from this building are pretty good. You can see CN Tower, it's right around the corner. And if you go uh, north from on the Simcoe Street, you'll reach Financial District. And there are a couple of few office towers around this block as well. There's the PwC Tower, there's Amazon Building, and as well as uh, TELUS Tower as well. Now I'll quickly show you a couple of pictures from the unit from this building uh, just to give you a reference the the kind of views we're looking at so this is the view from one of the balcony from one of the unit of the building and let me show you a couple of more pictures so this is the park on the west side of the building uh, and on the west side you you get exposed to tons of direct sunlight and nice sunset views mm -hmm. and you can see this is the park and your views are protected for i mean for the for good because they're not going to build anything over here so that way you're good and i should have highlighted this before that you can find one bedroom condo for about like 600k give and take 600 to 650k and you can find two bedroom condo for about 800 to 850k give and take all right our next stop is that king station which is right over here uh, so the building we're looking at is 88 scott so the king station from this building Building is just about two minutes of walk and from this building you do also have an access to a streetcar which runs from east to west on the king street and uh, the building we're looking at is uh, 88 scott and this is the building and it's a 58 story building and the developer is concert properties uh, and the age of this building is just five years old it's not too old and uh, this is one of the few buildings which is new and it's also rent controlled because this building was opened right before november 15 2018 so if you're someone who's looking to rent in a fairly new building and it's also rent control then i would target this building uh, the maintenance fee is about 76 cents per square feet which is actually pretty good and the condos in this building sell for about 1165 dollars per square foot uh, 
I know it's that slightly high, and one of the main reason is because this building is just fairly new, and it, and it is located right in the center of the city. Uh, speaking of the location, I'll show you. It's right over here. It's located right over here, uh, which is right in the core of the city, and it's close to Bergsey Park, which is also a very nice dog park. Uh, on Front Street and on Esplanade, you can find bunch of nice restaurants and bars and St. Lawrence Market is right around the corner from this building and on the west side of the building is financial district which is about like three to five minutes of walk. Now our next stop is at Queen Station which is right over here. Uh, so the building we're looking at is 25 Richmond Street East which is also called Young and Rich. Uh, so the Queen Station from this building is just about three minutes of walk and from this building as well you do have access to the streetcar on Queen Street uh, but right now due to construction I think that streetcar has a detour so I'm not too sure if it's still running or no so don't quote me on that. Uh, so let's check out the building. So this building is 33 stories. It's developed by Great Gulf. It's a very good developer. Uh, this building is just two years old, fairly new. Uh, the maintenance fee we're looking at is 81 cents per square foot which is not too bad so condos in this building sell for about 1270 per square foot i agree it is expensive uh, but the reasons are the same again uh, it's because it's in a very prime location and uh, the newer buildings with a good developer are expensive in the city and you can find one bedroom condo in this building for about higher 600 to 700 thousand dollars and you can find two bedroom condo for about a million and one thing I like about this building is that the units in this building have a very functional and efficient layout. For example, I'll quickly show you, show you a floor plan of a one plus 10 condo. And you can see at the entrance, there's no wasted space by a hallway. So the overall space inside the unit has been used very efficiently. So that's what I like about this building and the units in this building. Uh, they've got decent amenities going on. They've got a pool, they've gym, party room, meeting room, and uh, workstation. So overall, in my opinion, it's a very good building. So now let's go up to the Midtown Toronto that is Young and Clinton intersection. And you can see the orange line, which is cutting through the line one. It's basically the LRT, Crosstown LRT. Uh, it's been under construction for quite some time from for now, but uh, hopefully it'll be up and running this year. But once open, it'll make the Young and Clinton intersection so much attractive. It'll become actually like a mini uh, Bloor and Young intersection. Uh, now let's check out the good buildings uh, ne next to Young and Clinton uh, subway station. Uh, so the good buildings we're looking at is 30 and 70 to Hampton. 30 to Hampton is just about like three minutes walk from Eglinton station and 70 to Hampton is about like five minutes walk from Young and Linden subway station. So now let's check out the buildings. So 30 to Hampton Avenue East is also called Minto 30 to Hampton. It's a 34 story building. Uh, developer is Minto. It's a decent developer. Uh, this building is 70 years old and the maintenance fee we're looking at is 73 cents per square foot. The average price of the condo selling in this building are about like 1120 per square foot. Uh, to be honest, uh, this is slightly a higher price point for this building. Uh, chances are high there were like few outliers which has made the price go up. I've taken this data from the Toronto Real Estate Board. So as I just said, chances are high there were few outliers which has made the prices go up. In this building, you should be able to find a one bedroom condo for about higher 500s and for a two bedroom condo for about 800 to 850k. Okay, now let's go to the 70 to Hampton. So 70 to Hampton is 27 uh, story building. Developer is Tridal. It's a very good developer. I can totally vouch for that developer. Uh, this building is 13 years old and the maintenance we're looking at is 61 uh, cents per square foot. Uh, this by itself says that the building is well managed. Condo selling at an average price is for $1,000 per square foot. So basically you can find again a one bedroom condo for about like 500 to 600K and you can find a two bedroom condo for about 800K give and take. Okay, now let's check out the street view and let's check out the neighborhood in this uh, area so here we go so here's the street view of this street uh, building on the right is 30 Roehampton and on the right side of Roehampton we're looking at is 70 Roehampton this building is 70 Roehampton and in, in between 70 Roehampton and 30 Roehampton there's a massive field going on which is it's a soccer field which is nice and overall in this street is pretty quiet not too busy and overall the neighborhood is also very nice Speaking of demographic, you can find many young professionals living in this neighborhood. So now let's go up towards Shepherd and Young subway station. This is where line one intersects with line four. Now let's check out the building. Uh, so the building we're looking over here is 5 Shepherd Avenue East, also called Hallmark Center 2. Uh, this is a 27-story building and the developer is Stridal. As mentioned in my video earlier, that developer is pretty good. This building is 8 years old and the maintenance fee we're looking at is 75 cents per square feet at an average. Uh, not too bad. And the average price, the condo selling at an average price in this building are about $1135 per square foot. I agree, again, this price is high, for, especially for this location. But this building is one of the most expensive buildings in this neighborhood because it's right at uh, Shepherd and Young subway station. Uh, you actually have access to Shepherd station from the building. And it depends from building to building. Why that expensive is, is the demand, to be honest. Further, you do have access to a grocery store right at your doorstep. So the Whole Foods is located right over 
over here and this which is just under the building and now let's proceed with the second option uh, which is cheaper than this and is in a good uh, building and is in a good location so let's check that out so the next building is 17 andale drive also called savvy condos uh, this building is just about four minutes away from the uh, Shepherd and Young's uh, subway station, which is right over here. This building is 22 years old and the developer is Menkes. It's a decent developer. Uh, this building is 12 years old and the maintenance fee we're looking at is 74 cents per square foot, which is actually pretty good for a 12 year old building. And the condo selling at an average price in this building are $954 per square foot, which is also not too bad. All right, that's pretty much for today. I hope I was able to give you some value and see you in the next video. Thank you.